day is dry. It's not until we hit mid to late afternoon where we start to introduce those first chances of showers, but the steadiest rain is on the way tomorrow night. Temperatures making the mid 50s initially, and once again, that's going to be our warmest day going forward. Temperatures continue to decrease day by day going forward. Again, later into the afternoon and evening is our best opportunity for rain. Overnight is where that line peaks the highest. The higher the line, the more likely that rain is passing midnight, and then it will slowly decrease as we go throughout the morning. We'll get a nice lull in the action, too, on Thursday before the back half of the system catches us, and that one could be snow. So clouds on the increase into tomorrow. We get into mid-afternoon before we start to see those first returns coming in with the steadiest shield of rain coming in by evening and into the overnight. That continues on loading that light to moderate rainfall before a general lull in the action through much of Thursday. We're catching that dry <coughs> slot of air, shutting off the waterworks there. But at the same time, the cooler temperatures are wrapping around the back side of this. So I do expect snow showers to push back in Thursday night going into Friday. Thursday night being nighttime is going to be our best opportunity to pick up some accumulating snow. We'll touch on that in a second. First, the rain component, a half of an inch to an inch is expected. And then we dabble into the snow. And I want you to watch the ensemble here. We just lost that first one. But generally speaking, all of them are bringing in light or minor amounts of snow our way. Given the warm scenario that we have at hand and the light intensity of the snow that is going to be there, we're going to struggle to accumulate on the roads initially. But I do expect, especially of the grassy surfaces, elevated surfaces, to pick up an accumulation. Over Minnesota, I see an inch, maybe a little more possible as those snow showers continue into Friday, but most of the accumulation will come Thursday night in the coldest part of the system. Still another system on the heels of this one, Alberta Clipper sliding through Saturday night into Sunday. We'll have to watch this one for possible disruptions and maybe even a workday needed.